Sometime at eve, when the water is low, I shall slip my moorings and sail away. Through purple shadows that darkly trail over the ebbing tide of the unknown sea, and a ripple of waters to tell the tale of a lonely voyager sailing away to mystic isles where at anchor lay the craft of those who had sailed before, or the unknown sea, to the unknown shore. A few who watched me sail away will miss my craft from the busy bay. Some friendly barge were anchored near, some loving souls my heart held dear in silent sorrow will drop a tear. But I shall have peacefully furled my sail, in mooring sheltered from the storm and gale, and greeted friends who had sailed before, or the unknown sea to the unknown shore. The rocky ledge runs far into the sea, and on its outer point, some miles away, the lighthouse lifts its massive masonry, a pillar of fire by night, of cloud by day. Even at this distance I can see the tides upheaving break on the herd along its base, a speechless wrath that rises and subsides in the white tip and tremor of the face. And as the evening darkens, lo, how bright through the deep purple of the twilight air beams forth the sudden radiance of its light with strange, unearthly splendor in the glare. And the needle's battery, with such discordant noises, With such accursed instruments as these, Thou drownest nature's sweet and kindly voices, And jarrest the celestial harmonies. It rises like a blue sea serpent rising from the cliffs. To the needle's viewpoint on the battery it traverses the steep 
a perilous ill-ending climb to the high point of the promontory, overlooking the sea and the colourful sunstone rocks below. must go down to the seas again to the vagrant gypsy life to the gull's way and the whale's way where the wind's like a wetted knife and all I ask is a merry yarn from a laughing fellow rover and quiet sleep and a sweet dream when the long trick's over